Hi guys, it's Brooklyn and welcome to my channel. So if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I upload videos twice a week on Tuesdays and on Fridays. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the continued love and support of my channel. And I'm really hoping you're enjoying my content. So today's video is going to be my July 2023 favourites. Literally, it's nearly August and I'm not sure when this video is going to go up. But it's probably sometime this come week it is sunday night since i'm filming this normally i do my film on sunday anyway most of it sometimes throughout the week i would if i had the time or the chance to and i have makeup and everything on i would do a quick video here there but usually it's sundays when i do my bulk of the film and then i edit throughout the week or when i have that spare time or when i can be motivated to do it so i have six beauty favorites and i do have um i'm gonna say one here but i do have another one which i will just put a picture up because it is a food item so i'll start with the beauty stuff i'll do skincare first so well technically i've got three items for skincare but one's more of a tanning item so the two for skincare i have are these two the first one which is the double base gel it looks like that it's a 100 gram um, size, you have a bigger size of 500 or whatever it is. And I just got lip gloss over my hair. Because <laughs> what I did do, I put like a plump and lip gloss on before I put lipstick on and wiped the excess off the back of my hand and I just done that off my hair. <laughs> Fun times. So it does look a bit disgusting in the wee tube, but it is a gel cream, so it is quite like a solid. As you can see there it looks like it's off it's not that's just the consistency it is it's like a solid looking gel but when you rub it into your skin it has an oily consistency to it so it's like a jelly oil so um do you have the regular and i have their um like intensive one i think it is this one just the regular double base gel so it is meant to be for Nixiva or psoriasis type of skin. I do tend to go to the same blue all the time. Not very often, thank the Lord, but I do like to use this as a wee night cream. So what I do when I take a makeup off at night time, I put this on after my serums and I find the small amount that I put on my skin. As I can tell, it's well loved. I've had it um, from the start of this month. And I have used it as a body moisturizer too when I have like heat rash but a small amount does my whole face and neck and i find it does give me such intense hydration that lasts until the next day when i wake up i can still feel the hydration on my skin and it keeps my skin nice and plump and smooth hydrated and moisturized i would definitely recommend if you do have a dryer like like you have any type of skin type or it's a tamer or dermatitis that type of thing or even if you have more drier skin type even if you don't if you're more concerned about lines and wrinkles this is a good cream too for all around you can cut this is a good cream for like that type of thing too you can get it in boots which is where i get it from and it is around five pounds so it is quite affordable for a nice cream um i wouldn't recommend I never put it on for the day unless I'm not wearing any makeup that day because it is quite oily. It feels like a proper oil to your skin. So I would say if you've got oily skin, stay away from it. But yeah, apart from oily skin, I would definitely recommend it. Um, yeah, it's quite a good. The intensive one is ten pounds. So if you do have seriously dry skin, like a dry skin condition get this one or the intensive one which ever works best for your skin your skin needs but i love this one so the next one is an eye cream so i found after holiday obviously being sun and all i found my under eye areas weren't as tight as what they normally are and i needed a firming eye cream to help tighten them a bit because i did get a bit of a heat rash on my face too as well as my body so i needed 
creamy throat that I to kind of get rid of the excess dryness and also an eye cream to firm underneath my eyes because I'm not ready for like loose skin and stuff like that and wrinkles no <laughs> I'm only 31 so I got this Olay I think it's just a firming to say what it is it's a visible lift from an eye cream, I believe. It's this one anyway. It's in like a silver and clear jar. And it did come in a red um box. So it basically has a consistency of a gel. You can see it there. It's like a clear gel or something to lid to. What I do is I take a tiny dollop. So I don't want to waste it, but I've already left it some. So about that much, we do plenty for both eyes. What I do is just dab on the underneath the eyes and bring it on top of my eyelids. And I, some people don't like to bring it over the eyelids, but I think you're better doing that because if you're wanting to firm all over your eye area, there's no point in leaving your eyelids out because you want it firmed all over. But it is like a gel and it does just. A little bit goes a long way, it does spread quite a lot. So what I like to do if I have any excess, I bring it into the triangle so it firm that area up too. And when it does dry, it dries slightly tacky so it does give you a firmness to your skin which is nice. And I do use that more night time sometimes from the day. When I first got it I was using it day and night to kind of firm that eye area up a bit more and it does work i do believe it does work it helps keep your skin nice and firm and i think it's around five pounds you can get it from savers boots super drug i got it from savers because yeah the price of the only stuff from boots and super drug is dear than savers and yeah might as well get a bargain so i love that and would definitely recommend it so nick skincare which does kind of it's slightly open and just notice that <laughs> it's these um skinny tan tanning drops so just basically the tanning tone face tanning wonder drops so basically they're in the range of the wonder serum tan they're tinted as you can see there they're quite like a goldy tint which is nice my husband actually got me my 31st birthday before we went on holiday i took them away on holiday with me and I noticed when I was on holiday, my skin, I use this, my skin gave, well, they gave my skin a nice golden glow. And they gave you a nice, light to medium tan on your face, which is lovely, because they're not too dark. But you can make them darker by using more droplets. I use a whole pet in my moisturiser. So my day moisturiser, which is the Super and Glory Plump, I mix the pet in with the day moisturiser and apply it all over my face and neck, just blended it really well. And it gave me that nice kind of glowy look. And sometimes I plaid for the day, sometimes night time, depending on when I feel like I look pale. But these just top up my tan. My tan just looks nice. I don't look pale or anything. Sometimes when you're wearing fake tan and you don't really tan your face. Like throughout the week to match up with your body. But you do it when you do your tan. You can look pale but they used to kind of or good in between tan. I like them for that reason. I have used them on my body too, even though they say face, but mix them with a body moisturizer to kind of top up my tan for the holiday as well. Because I obviously don't really tan that much. I'm pale naturally. I probably look pale on this camera too. But they just really are brilliant. I absolutely love them. You can get them from the Sky Tan website, Bridge Super Drug. I'm not sure about Savers and Sammy Kim. I think some do stock some skinny tan but I don't know about these drops but other websites too like beauty websites online do them obviously but they are quite good I do love them so um I've got three makeup items I'll start with the eyes oh I've got hiccups um this is the Primark PS Smolder palette it just looks like that so I took this on holiday with me, it's like £6, it's cheap as chips for an eyeshadow palette. 
just looks like that. It has all nice smoky colours and neutrals too. I took it away on holiday with me because I wanted, I didn't want to bring it to your pal with me in case it got lost or something like smashed or anything. So I remember a few months before I went on holiday I bought a, a pal from Primark, this one. Because it has all the colours I like. I like them kind of smoky colours and also neutral colours and I knew with the bronzer I brought that I can create like a nice soft look with that too with like a bronzer in the crease kind of moment and highlighter on the lid but this kind of covered most of my faces for everything I needed well all of it and I love as you can see the colours of like the shield they're beautiful beautiful colours and the quality really surprised me even though I knew some Primark products are quite nice but the quality of these shadows just really, really amazed me so much. As you can tell, that's what they look like. I will do a swatch of them. If you can see, they're, they're quite like pigmented, especially the shimmers. The mattes too, the mattes are like beautiful. Um, but I found when I was doing makeup from a holiday, like, Holiday glam, make sure it's on the right way. No, was it? <laughs> yeah, it's that way. So I found doing makeup on holiday so easy and blendable. Like eye makeup just blend like a dream. The colours were pigmented. I loved using like the nice like I see white on the lid and like a nice grey brown in the crease and that was my go-to. I did do deeper looks for more like out, out night outs and leather looks for more like I didn't want to put too much on the eyes because I was doing a bold lip type moment. And I found this palette just is beautiful. If you're looking to try something from pre Rock Beauty, I definitely recommend the eyeshadow palettes that you can't go wrong with them for £6. You can't beat it. And even if you're not going to wear a holiday, you're just looking to buy a reactional palette to treat yourself, but you don't want to buy a high end one, get this one. Especially if you love like smoky colours too. I'm definitely a fan of smokies. I like a nice smoky eye classic. Silver and grey smoky eye with a bit of black there. It's my jam, definitely. And this one just was beautiful for me. Um, so I do have two more makeup items this is a face one it's the benefit get the party started bronzer blush and highlight so you can't get this anymore but you can get the bronzer which is hula so that's hula that's california that one's whatsapp i don't really use a highlighter really because it's a few years old so i don't i did swatch it today but i never really touch touch it or anything maybe a shade just try to use it up but um yeah it's a good palette i find i've been using the bronzer and the blush i have it on now i've got the bronzer on and the blush and it does give me that nice kind of sun kissed look i find the bronzer is a medium shade of bronzer but it can be built up like right original hula everyone knows that and it's a nice bronzer when I'm really tanned, you have to build it up more, but sometimes I'm really tanned, I use a darker bronzer. But most of the time, I use this one if I just can't really think of what I'm going to put on my face for a bronzer. I pick this one up, or my Doll Beauty one. But if I'm darker, I use Doll Beauty, but if I'm kind of lighter tan like I am now, I use this one, which I did today. And then the blush, I find the blush is a perfect coral for me. I love a nice bright coral blush. I do like bright pinks too. I do like neutral brushes, brushes, blushes, but a coral orange colour is my favourite. It just suits my skin tone whether it's pale or a fake tan so, so well. It's just nice and wearable. You can make it as bright as you want, as subtle as you want. You can't go wrong. We well, did have this pal first. I did use the highlighter too, which I might start like using like if, I keep on saying like, if a fancy mauve cream highlight but more I like to wear a powder highlight just to go along with the powder bronzer and powder blush I will do swatches now so um because they're so old I find 
when we first started using them again, they were hard to kind of get the pigmentation. There, I will do another swatch of the bronzer and blush. As you can see there, that's the bronzer and the blush. And highlight, highlight looked quite baby. I should probably use that. I should actually. But they're quite buildable. They're quite nice colours. They're perfect for summer or any type of year. I just wear, I love curls. I love like bronzy, like bronzers. Obviously, I'm just a bronzer girl. When I'm wearing makeup, I just don't wear blush. I wear bronzer more. Like if I don't have time in the morning to do like a full face of makeup, I would skip blush before I skip bronzer. And bronzer is one thing I do wear, but I try to wear blush too. I love wearing blush as well. I know it's so long, but if you can, you can't get California anymore, but if you can get it somewhere, like either do a discount on it, I definitely recommend it. But if you are looking for a dupe, I believe the benefit of Krista is nearly identical to California. And obviously Hulu is still the same. They haven't relaunched that or anything, but they have four different shades of you are paler the same color or darker or something for you which is quite nice so i love that and that the last the last beauty product but not least is this w7 eye shot plump and lip oil it's basically like a lip oil that plumps your lips obviously it's a new one that comes up a wee do for applicator. It's a new lip plump that they have brought out. They do have their hot shot, which I've had out for a couple of years now. I haven't tried that, but I've been meaning to. But when I seen this in Sammy Kim, I was like, I'm going to try it out and see what it's like. So I love a lip plumper, even though I have my lips done. Love to get them done again. I probably will like next year because I'm trying not to get them done as much. But um, I love a good lip plumper for like adding a plumpness to my lips to kind of bring out more of a lip shape. And I find before doing my makeup or in, between my, in the middle of doing my makeup, if I could speak, I put this one on, a good layer of it. If I show my makeup when I go to my lips, take it off, like blot it off the back of my hand, do my lip colour I'm doing and my lips just feel really really nice. It does, because it is lip oil, it does moisturise my lips which I like. I love a good hydrated lip and obviously hydrated lips look plumper so and it does kind of give you a bit of a difference in your lips which is nice and it has a cooling peppermint feel your lips isn't too strong or anything. It is strong but it isn't like unbearable. Maybe if you don't like the hot shot one, try the cool shot. Maybe you'll get on better with that one. But I am planning to buy the hot shot to see what I think of that one too. Um, I might do an individual review on this one too. But it does work really, really well. And it is only around £5. So it's quite affordable. And it's good even as a treatment too. To kind of plump and moisturise and hydrate your lips especially. If you do suffer from dry lips, I don't really suffer too much with dry lips anymore because I've got filler in them. Still sometimes, but I always try to kind of put lip balms and all on. Where I don't have makeup on or even when I do have makeup on. Like put moisturising lip products if my lips are dry. But this does kind of help sort it out too. So um, that's last of beauty favourites. But I do have two, well one, non-beauty related favourites. So... This is a Febreze Vanilla Air Freshener. I've had this for, not even joking, two years, but I have other air fresheners which I've been using up in between using this. And I've kind of fallen in love with it again. I don't really have much left, so it's nearly empty, but I think I see myself for purchasing it. So these are brilliant. You can get them in all different scents. If you've cleaned your house, say for instance, they're a good hoover, you've change the throat on your sofa you've just done a nice clean up on your bed i love spraying this over my surfaces and to get my room, room smell nice my house smell nice this does have a beautiful yeah a, a beautiful vanilla smell it's just classic and i spread it over myself but i don't care because it's nice it's like a nice classic vanilla smell i love it it's just so nice and refreshing so sweet I know not everyone likes the sweet smells for room sprays, but I love a sweet smell. I'm just, I just love it. It makes like everything you spray with it smell beautiful. And 
What's that, love? I do find her a couple of poundies, but I used last and every time I do my cleaning, which I'm doing a good clean tomorrow after work, because yeah, I'm going to be using this and my house is going to smell divine and my house is going to be nice show home, clean and tidy. <laughs> Maybe not show home, but tidier and cleaner, but I'm going to have the house smelling beautiful with this stuff because for breeze just do the best or freshers i love it so next favorite which is a bit weird but obviously i am including since january non-beauty related favorites in this video um i've been loving orange juice like basically dilated orange juice i have one downstairs called robertson's orange and it's amazing I love it for adding into my water, that's why you meant to add it to water to give it a bit more flavour. I like my orange juice diluted strong and I just been put it into my wee water bottle. I actually got like a wee slushy bottle from Aqualante in Spain. I've been drinking it a lot and it's been helping me get to drink water and keep myself hydrated. And I find sometimes I can, can get bored of regular water but I do drink it too. So having like some squash some diluted juice in with my water helps me drink it better and it's just better for me and just better to drink diluted juice instead of drinking dark hook all the time much better for you actually and it's a bit more refreshing sometimes so we love loving that too and i'll put a picture of what it looks like i have if i haven't already so i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you again for the next one stay gorgeous god bless bye